unsurprisingly, there are numerous movie and TV references peppered throughout the game of Diablo 3. First up is a series of comic book references, starting with the Justice Lantern Ring. The flavor text reads, once worn by the self-proclaimed Guardians of Sanctuary, who is said to feel no fear. This references DC Comics' Green Lantern series regarding a galactic police force run by the Guardians of the Universe. Marvel Comics has also influenced some items in the game. The Logan's Claw fist weapon used by monks reads, Bearing this weapon can release the feral beast within. The weapon is modeled after the X-Men character Wolverine, aka Logan. The Odin Sun Mace states, This hammer rumbles with the sound of distant thunder. This references the Norse god of thunder and lightning, Thor, who more recently is betrayed in Marvel Comics with his mighty weapon, Mjolnir. One of the passive abilities for barbarians is called Berserker Rage, which states, You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. The ability buffs damage when you're filled with fury and pays homage to Marvel Comics character, The Hulk. The 300th Spear talks about they fought against incredible odds down to the last warrior. 480 BC, 300 Spartans fought bravely against hundreds of thousands of Persians, popularized by the comic 300 and the movie of the same name. The Barbarian's Lamentation Mighty Belt references another famous barbarian, Conan. The 1982 movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger has a famous scene where Conan is asked what is best in life. And the flavor text for this mighty belt directly addresses this scene, stating it is Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, they hear the lamentation of the women. Another mighty belt, the pride of Cassius, states he moved swiftly and struck hard. Truly the greatest warrior to have walked the land. This references the famous boxer Muhammad Ali, whose birth name is Cassius Clay. The beck and sail cloak for demon hunters states, favored by those who do their fighting in the underworld. Now apparently, Jay Wilson, the previous game director for Diablo 3, is a fan of actress Kate Beckinsale and the character she plays in the Underworld movie series. There's a bow in the game named Atreyu, which states, the warrior surveyed the dead and dying arrayed about him. There would be more, many more. He felt as if he were trapped in a tale that would never end. This is a nod towards the popular 80s movie, The Neverending Story, and the bow's name itself is a twist on the name of one of the characters, Atreyu. You may run across legendary pants called Hammers Jammers, and the flavor text states, these large pants cannot be touched, and are a direct reference to the song, You Can't Touch This, by rapper MC Hammer, who was known in the 90s to wear overly large pants that allowed him to perform dance moves without difficulty. One of the funniest legendary potions in the game is the bottomless potion of Kool-Aid, and his potion states, oh yeah, while allowing you to break through walls created by elite enemies. The Tasker and Theo gloves state, the master in his hound were the most famed hunters of their day. He died fighting beside his favorite dog just as the way he would have wanted it. His loyal companion soon followed. In the British Army, Lance Corporal Liam Tasker and his dog Theo were stationed in Afghanistan and were the most successful bomb detection dog team in the country. Tasker was killed via sniper and within hours, Theo died of a seizure after losing his master and the gloves honor their great service. Witch doctors may be able to find the tall man's finger ring which states, this finger was severed from the hand of an Umbaru priest who crossed over to the Mibuiro Akira in search of knowledge and came back changed. Before the unclean phantasm was slain, he held great power over the dead and this metal plated digit still possesses some of that power. This is a nod to the villain in the phantasm movie series also known as the tall man. Raise your weapon and it's over, states the flavor text on the Halcyon's Ascent Amulet. This shape of the amulet is modeled after the avatar used by the famous DJ and music producer who goes by the name Dead Mouse, but who used to use the name Halcyon441. When you equip it, one of your abilities will cause all the surrounding enemies to jump in unison just like at a concert. There are a few references to the television show the developers were watching whilst they created the game, like the Black Rock Ledgers, which point to the hit show Lost, and several nods to the mega hit Game of Thrones, like the Defender of Westmarch Shield. 
A rather obscure reference shows up from Aqua Teen Hunger Force called The Bone Saber of Zuma Kalis. Killed by stabbing him in the heart with the ancient bone saber of Zuma Kalis. Lastly, a popular legendary ring called Unity states, a symbol of peace, love, and togetherness for all mankind. Also good for leaving an imprint on someone's head. This directly references a comedy skit on The Dave Chappelle Show. There are many more pop culture references in Diablo 3, but which ones have you discovered? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, this is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.